Hello folks, welcome to testing hacks. So today we are going to see what are the principles of testing, software testing. So there are seven fundamental principles of software testing. We have exhaustive testing is not possible, defect clustering, pesticide paradox, testing shows a presence of defect, absence of error is a falsy and early testing testing is context dependent so we go through each of them starting from exhaustive testing is impossible which is like not possible okay so what do we mean by exhaustive testing okay let's say we have a text box which accepts the value from 30 to 40 in between the range 30 to 40 so what and all, all the values we can put in to test that application to text a uh, test that text box is 29 30 40 41 and also you can add something like 35 36 in between that range right okay suppose say what I'll do I'll repeat the values okay from 21 22 23 25 and all these values even from the boundary Say this is the boundary 30 to 40 is the range and the boundary whichever I am covering is 30 and 40 and in between that I am I can just cover and uh, when it comes to boundary value analysis we have the value you know exceeding the range and then which can be less than the range in that case what we can cover is 29 30 40 41 right so if i do this kind of testing by repeating suppose say even if i enter 21 the result will be same even if i enter 29 the result will be same in that case where it falls into exhaustive testing right that should we should never do this exhaustive testing and that is not possible at all how, till how many values you can test you can test to certain limit right so that is where the exhaustive testing is not possible. Defect clustering. Say in a specific module, we are finding so many defects which forms a cluster of defects, right? And also the, uh, you know, uh, the identifying the errors, right? will uh, by your experience you will get to know where you can find the errors where you can find the defects with which module so with the experience itself you will get to know suppose say there is a new joinee who has joined your team and if you ask him to execute the test cases what he will do he will execute the test cases which you have written but there will no you know you People will not cover the uh, other test cases, whichever you have, you might not have covered in that. Okay. That condition is called as pesticide paradox. When it comes to pesticide paradox, which is a third principle. So in case there is a bug and if you are not able to find it through the test case, which we have already written. And also if we repeat the same execution, then again, we will not be able to find the defect. So for that sake, what we have to do to overcome this, the test case needs to be updated regularly, reviewed and revised by adding the new and different test cases that helps to find the more defects, right? So this is what the pesticide paradox states, okay? And coming to testing shows a presence of defect, okay? So testing talks about the presence of defect and don't talk about the absence of defect. When it comes to testing, what we will first say when we when we are asked about testing definition, we will definitely say that we will the process of finding the defects, right? Yeah, so what we will do, do is testing shows the presence of defects and then the Software testing reduces the probability of undiscovered defects remaining in the software. But even if no defects are found, it is a proof of correctness. Okay. So what I'm here uh, trying to tell is, suppose if you do not find the defect also, we are verifying the correctness of the application. We are maintaining the proof that, yeah, this is working fine. This is working as expected. And also with the maximum coverage and precondition, make you can make sure that the 99% of the software is bug free. 
we cannot assure that the software is 100% bug free but we can make sure that it is 99% bug free okay absence of error is the faulty so uh, we have already spoken about the presence of defect now we are talking about the absence of error okay so that doesn't mean that we are not we are doing something wrong if we do not find any defect that doesn't mean we are doing something wrong software testing is not mere finding defect but also to check the software meets the business requirement right first we will go as per the acceptance criteria if that is meeting the as per the software is developed as per the acceptance criteria right absence of error is a falsy that means that finding defect and fixing does not help if the system built is unusable and does not fulfill users needs and requirement okay that is where absence of error is a falsy and coming to early testing which is the sixth principle so uh, there will be a question right right early testing what is early testing means so that indicates that we have to start the testing as soon as we as early as possible in the soft you know in the span of software development life cycle okay so that any defects in the requirement or design phase are captured in the early stage itself it is much cheaper to fix a defect in early stage of testing but the question arises but how early i can you can start uh, the testing in to answer that the requirement phase is the stage where you have to start the testing starting with requirement if there is a any discrepancy in the de, uh, requirement itself we can have that corrected at that stage itself rather than going uh, the the defect going to the production we can have it fixed at as early as possible that is why early testing is required and next uh, testing is context dependent so what is context dependent suppose say i am working in a banking domain okay so i'll be knowing all the and i have i will be having the application knowledge of a banking domain right so if i go to e-commerce would it be the same thing no right there the process and the strategies i have to use is different from whatever the strategies and uh, the methods i was using in my previous organization or in the previous domain so the approach will differ and the methodologies you follow will differ and the type of testing will be deferred suppose say in the banking domain the security matters so you might have to do the security testing as well but the same might not be required in e-commerce domain right yeah that is where even though the security matters but the extent and the type of testing depends on that specific domain that's it for this video we have covered all the seven principles of testing please like the video share and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye bye